Hey, welcome back. It's uh, Women Wednesday, and uh, as usual, it's a uh, big, giant, hot, fire-breathing dragon of a wet, wet Woman Wednesday on uh, Liquid Lunch. And uh, we had Jen Kearns, Republican strategist, and Laura Fink from Rebel Communications, Democrat, Republican, mix it up. Uh, and now we bring in another powerhouse of a woman to talk about this nationwide movement. Michelle Eskenazi is nice enough to join us today. They call her the Bail Bonds Queen of New York. She's the CEO and founder of Empire Bail Bonds, and uh, she's also the president of the New York State Bail Bonds Person Association. That's is that correct. right? That's correct. So we can't call you a bail bondsman. Sure you can. We can. So you're not you're not going with that whole I've been, thing. I've been we, we don't a have lot to say worse. Bonds person. You're a bell bonds person. No, okay. Call me whatever you want. So Michelle, thanks for joining us. Uh, I saw you in action, you know, a few months back when you were at this uh, criminal justice reform panel, and you had some people. You were talking about how we need cash bail, and we need to keep you know violent people around the incarceration system, and not just let them out there. But there's this movement across the country now, which can be a threat to your business, I would think. It's to end cash bail. Right. What, what, what do you think about this? How does this hurt us? Well, it doesn't just hurt us. I mean, it hurts the entire industry as a whole. I mean, we've been a bail industry, a bail bond industry, essentially for over 200 years in the United States of America with the coal miners of criminal justice. Um, and what they want to do is they want to end responsibility because with a bail bond policy, uh, surety policy comes mom, dad, sister, brother, aunt, uncle who's standing behind the individual to ensure that sp specific individual's appearance in court and essentially ensure that the victim has her, his or her day in court as well. Is there, in your professional view, and I know you, how many how many members are in the New York State Association? 212. 212 people across New York State who make their living off of providing bail, securing the community, and holding other people responsible for this person to return to court. Is there some place now with technology where you could see nonviolent people getting some kind of tracker on their phone or ankle bracelet or something? Because it seems like the court systems are overloaded with people. I don't, I don't disagree. Um, I just think that there has to be a happy medium, whether it's in this type of situation, a personal relationship. It can't just be all or nothing. And what happened in the state of New York was instead of moving to a, a poco a poco system where you, you're doing it little by little by little and ensuring the public safety of our global visitors here to the city. <laughs> Did you Not, just go back on that for yeah. our audience who was boca a boco? Poco a poco, little by little. Little by little. So that's the little. that's the Cuban part of the Eskenazi. Right, that's, that's actual. Out right mm -hmm. there. Okay. Right. I got it. Michelle, just explain to folks who have viewers watching around the country what exactly New York is doing. Uh, they passed new legislation. It's going to take effect on New Year's Eve. Uh, John Miller, who people may remember from his work with CBS News or with ABC, um, he is now the deputy commissioner of the NYPD, uh, who works for a police commissioner appointed by Bill de Blasio, not considered a conservative ideologue by any means. He's saying that what New York is doing is going to cause 99% of people that are arrested, unless they're arrested for murder, to never see the inside of a jail cell. Uh, what exactly is the change and are other states likely to follow suit? So essentially, um, he's right. So what happens is the majority of felonies that are alleged to be conducted in the state of New York are deemed nonviolent. For example, stalking, rape three, luring a child with alcohol into a sexual act, push in burglaries. All of those, Frank, are nonviolent felonies. One might not consider it that way because, I mean, obviously your daughter, your son, they God get hit forbid, with a hammer, but you know, yeah. they're still in grave danger. Right. It's a crime of moral turpitude. However, it's defined under the broad spectrum of nonviolent. So that's kind of how they get away with kind of this entire movement. Although we've tried to tell, you know, the legislature in New York that anybody's uh, kid, brother, father, sister can be the next crime victim because recidivists do not pick their their next victim by virtue of political ideology. What's I'm sorry, what's the biggest what how, what's the mo how often are your clients uh, recidivists? If they paid cash bail, I would think not that often, right? No, that's incorrect, actually. Uh, really? Yeah. 
I'm saying people who get arrested tend to get arrested again. Like, yes, you sir. know them. I know your parents. I got the deed to their house already. So th th there's something there that maybe, you know, the second time you're done. Like, you know, it's maybe maybe the recidivism is But the they thing. do tend to show up for court if they paid bail, right? Right. Yeah. But, you know, that has to do with what we call in the industry the circle of love. So if mom and dad or cousin, aunt, uncle, brother are willing to indemnify that individual, that person has more of a chance to go to court. Es essentially, it protects the public safety. But what well, the thing that we're not talking about here, Frank, is that 80, upwards of 80 percent of recidivists today are addicted to narcotics. Mm, all right. So all all of those guys that are going to run through for okay. crime charges. Right. We got to end this segment. I'm sorry because they're yelling at me in my ear, but we're going to have Michelle Esquinazia back to talk more about this. Keep her and uh, Cash Bail in your circle of love. You're watching Liquid Lunch. <laughs> Thank you.